Hi guys, welcome to the video. Um, so I'm finally um, doing the van setup video that I've been promising for ages. Now I'm so, sort of three quarters um, happy with it. Um, it's serving as well for you know day to day kind of um, running around and stuff. Uh, but I do want to do a few uh, bits just to kind of bring it up to where I wanted to be. But uh, I appreciate kind of people are starting out there are a lot of people who watch us um, channel who's you know just starting out so I thought wait this uh, will be a good video just to, to upload and stuff and I'll point out the bits that I want to do and stuff as well and you can maybe give us some tips along the way so I'm going to just turn you around now because I've, I've driven to a lovely little spot um, there's one subscriber if you're watching this you might recognize it um, you don't have to worry though I'm not muscling in on your patch because I think you do around here um, I've just driven 10 minutes up the road there and uh, just because it's so nice I'll turn around now and uh, I'll show you. So it's a lovely view so you've got like Sunderland and stuff over that way. And Durham kind of over there behind the trees. Yeah, really nice. So, uh, the van setup. So, it's full to call me gear in now. Um, I have got some additional things that aren't here, that aren't here, sorry. Um, and they just kind of get like piled and placed and wherever the space really. So, right. So, you can see here initially. Um, what you call this, like a unit stand thing that I built. So as you can see, this keeps all me, you know, me trimmer, me hedge trimmer, me leaf blower. I got me um, move garden long handle there. Uh, these clips, pretty decent. And underneath here, which is a bit me messy, and I'm not. Yeah, I don't really like it. It's a bit clunky, but that's got all the other little bits and pieces uh, you can see there. Um, you can see that I haven't fully made use of that wall yet, so I'm hoping a few things can be moved to there. Uh, but I'm not sure what yet, because it's, it's a bit kind of, you're reaching over, kind of like, to get things. And yeah, it's not great for access. And at the back there um, is me... Uh, fuel and oils and stuff like that. Uh, so you can see there, uh, I bought those green boxes and uh, I wanted it to fit nice. So I made the dimensions of this unit uh, to the dimensions of the the box there. And it's simple, really. Um, so this this doesn't have a bottom on it, and purposefully, um, that's not attached to the van in any way. That's all like a single unit, standalone unit. Uh, reason being is um, in case I need to do a massive tip run and uh, fill the van up, that can come out. Obviously, I can get all my gear out, but the unit can come out as well. Um, so that will fit a lot more in. Yes, yeah, so that's the reason for that. Um, and at the minute, I'm just kind of like wedging things down the side there, which is it's all right. But again, it's a bit kind of clunky. Um, that's me harness and these are good so these were in ikea in the kitchen section they were about four quid i think for the the rail and the three tubs there and i just keep little bits and pieces it's full of crap like really at the minute it's just things that i didn't know where else to put them basically um and that green box there i'll go around the side and show you so these are useful if you've got one of the grates here you get these like hooks and you can just see I've screwed through the, the lid if you get the, the ones with the lip then then this can attach quite easy so you're making use of the space there and I've got me leaf blowing attachment there And if you're looking from this angle, you can see that my lawnmower isn't folded down, so I've got a, um, a Cobra, an 18 inch Cobra, and you don't actually have to take it down. Uh, these little handles are great though if you did, um, it's just like no time at all. Um, and I've got a bungee cord 
obviously running from there to there to stop a leg whacking into the door. Um, so I've got my bag here. It's got all my bits and pieces in. That comes with us on every single job. I get it out all the time. This is obviously just a flexi tub and this is a massive um, piece of tarp that I use for me uh, when I do my hedges and stuff. Um, so that fits nicely in there. And that's obviously the, the bag at the lawnmower. Uh, so yeah, so I've just been to cut my nana's uh, grass and I'll take all the bits away for her. So that'll go in my compost bin. Yeah, so you can probably see the unit a bit better here. Uh, it's quite rough and ready like, but it'll do. I need to kind of put a bit of a side on here because sometimes things like fall down, like something like this. So this keeps all that in there. I need something there to keep all that in there. Uh, but you can see it's quite spacious. Um, I can actually get a big dumpy sack in here full of waste uh, if I try, uh, if I need to. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's quite spacious, yeah. Um, so yeah, back in here now, so this box basically, I've, I'll just keep stuff in really, um, that I don't know what to do with again. So I've got my first aid kit, so I multi-spray, some like spare knee pads, it's just spares really, spare gloves, like this is when I do the fuel. Um, uh, gloves, it's, it's a bungee cord stuff, uh, odds and ends really. As I say, I'm about three quarters of the way there. It's just a basic look, really. I'll uh, do an updated video of this uh, at some point when I get sorted. And, uh, um, and if you've got any ideas, obviously, just like put them in the comments. Uh, it'll be useful to read through. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you're new to the channel, I'm a great gardener. Uh, currently, it's, I'm into my second year, so still new. Uh, got a full channel. Check it all out. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.